morning to all of you. I'm uh, Luca Morassi and my tutor is Professor Giovanni Verzellesi. And the aim of my research is the electrical characterization and modeling of Ingas-based MOSFET and MOSAMP with IK gate electric. Ingas is one of the main material that can uh, substitute the silicon in the MOSFET for a technology beyond the 22 nanometer technological node. And uh, even the IK uh, dielectric have been uh, well studied during the last years because they can permit to obtain uh, uh, less leakage current through the gate uh, with respect to the typical shot key barrier of the amped uh, structure. The problem when we are including the AK in the process is the high number of traps that we create uh, on the interface on which we depose the AK. And traps strongly affect uh, characteristics such as the threshold voltage, the channel mobility, and the sub-threshold slope of the devices. And uh, for this reason, it's really important to evaluate uh, the impact uh, of the interface trap on the uh, devices, in our case, uh, MOSFET and MOSAMP, uh, under investigation. Here I'm showing the sample that we investigated. Uh, the first kind of sample on the top, uh, we use this sample to evaluate the effect uh, of the interface trap. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, Inga's MOSFET with the Zirconia gate electric. For this structure, we have uh, uh, both solution with or without uh, the capping layer interposed in between the channel and the zirconia. This solution is to increase the mobility uh, by separating, by outdistancing the inversion layer uh, of the carrier with respect to the high defective interface of the IK. With the second kind of devices, uh, most same with the alumina gate dielectric as a oxide and a barrier of five nanometer of uh, indium phosphide, we use this device to evaluate the error uh, affecting the split CVU technique for the mobility extraction. In this figure, we can see the good agreement that we reached between the experiment and the simulation uh, for all the devices under investigation. And in particular, I would like to tell you about one phenomenon that we observed. Uh, I'm talking about the MOSFET devices. When uh, we are looking at the device with cap, uh, the device with cap has a threshold voltage lower than the expected with respect to the device uh, with no cap. And uh, this unexpected phenomenon is due to the uh, presence of both the capping layer and the donor trap at the interface. We made some uh, simulation to evaluate uh, this uh, phenomenon. Uh, dotted line are for a device with no cap. We perform some simulation with different concentration of uh, donor at the interface. And uh, all the uh, characteristic, the current characteristic, converge to the same uh, threshold voltage. The situation is different when we consider the case uh, of the device with cap. Increasing the amount uh, of donor at the interface, we uh, see the threshold voltage moving toward a more negative value. This phenomenon is due to the presence of uh, uh, charged donor at the interface when the device is near to the inversion condition. In particular, in this, uh, this line, uh, for these voltages, uh, you are near to the threshold voltage and there is still some uh, donor positively charged. This phenomenon is uh, represented in this simple scheme that shows us the, uh, the band model of the devices. When we are looking at the device with cap, uh, due to the wider band gap of the uh, capping layer, the channel is near to the inversion condition and some donor uh, the donor above the Fermi level are still positively charged. When we move into the other device, uh, all the donors are uh, below the Fermi level and they are uh, completely neutralized and they cannot impact the threshold anymore. Let me now show the other uh, topic we are currently working on. Uh, the split CV technique is a technique for the mobility extraction. Uh, you can find uh, the mobility of the carrier as a function of the carrier density in the channel. To perform this technique, you need to know the uh, IV and the CV uh, characteristic of the devices, combine it together under the hypothesis of uh, poor drift current uh, in the channel. So this is the equation obtained for the mobility extraction. A really simple equation that uh, does not account for other parasitic phenomenon, for example, the presence of uh, contact resistances, the presence of trap, uh, the diffusion transport in the channel. And uh, we wanted to evaluate the impact of uh, this parasitic. So we simulate uh, 
the EV and the CV characteristic for the most simple with the uh, alumina gate dielectric, we imposed uh, uh, the mobility, the uh, dotted black mobility as an input for the simulation. And then once we obtained the IV and the CV, we extracted the mobility. And the mobility extracted is uh, actually different from the imposed one. Only if we consider uh, and we correct uh, the equation, considering all the, uh, all the error sources that I listed uh, near to the picture, it's possible to uh, correctly extract the real value of the mobility in the channel. In particular, in the, uh, let me call, operative uh, range for the device from zero to one uh, volt, we systematically overestimate, underestimate the mobility due to the presence of uh, uh, contact resistances and the presence of the barrier capacitance of the barrier layer. In conclusion, in our work, we uh, evaluate the effect of interface trap in uh, MOSFET with the CAPED uh, devices. And this, uh, the behavior is quite different from the expected uh, respect to standard non-CAPED MOSFET. In particular, donor-like trap at the interface can uh, automatically explain uh, the negative shift observed in the device with CAP. We also uh, tested the consistency of the split CV mobility uh, measurement for the mobility extraction of the carrier in the channel. We saw that there is some error sources that affect the mobility. Some of them are due to the immaturity of the technology, so uh, serious resistances, not uh, negligible, and the uh, interface uh, trap charge at the interface. And some of them are due to the intrinsec uh, structure adopted for the device. For example, the presence of the barrier capacitance uh, due to the barrier layer from the channel in the IK. I conclude my presentation. Uh, thank you, all of you, for the attention.